So, we did the games with Jane last time. And she was gonna give us a telescope. And she gave us the password for the computer. She said that it was... Oh, this is a maze. See that? Huh. Um... She said that the password to the computer was... The hint was the grandpa's... So not these guys. Also... When the lady said... Um, I think it's this guy. I think last stream, when the lady said that the parrot was 80 years old, I was like, oh, it's a robot parrot. And then someone left a comment that's like, actually, parrots can get that old. And I was like, no. So I googled it. Parrots can live up to 80 years. So that is actually a living parrot in the game. And I was like, what the fuck? I had no idea. They can be that old. Um, apparently, they usually get to around 55, 60, but in captivity, they just live a lot longer. Per... Pergamentum exit. So that might be the password. Pergamentum exit. Let's try it out. Bless Spasible. you. Spasible. Pergamentum exit. Welcome, my hey. friend. Don't tell my sister, but there are ghosts in Blackmore Manor. Thirteen of them to be Thirteen exact. ghosts? The hey. Is they're very shy, That's a movie. So they only come out when it's very late at night, usually just after midnight. And even then, they only show up in quiet places, like the Great Hall, and the hallways, and the conservatory. What's worse, they'll only come out for a very short period of time. Hmm. But if you can find and touch all 13 ghosts in the time you're allotted, come back here, and I'll give you a prize. One which I guarantee you'll enjoy. So who's ready to go in a ghost hunt? After midnight? Oh dear. My watch tells me that the ghosts are not likely to show up right now. Come back between midnight, midnight and, and 4 a.m. Farewell till then. Oh. Okay. Mid midnight to 4 a.m. Hello, Nancy. <laughs> oh. I'll let you get back to your work. Apparently I have Goodbye. nothing to talk to him about, so. Um. So that's the thing we could do. The key to the oh yeah the key we have the key. I haven't done that yet. What? The key to the door with the coat of arms on it. But we got the key from Jane, didn't we? Time has come for Wasn't it this one? Yeah. Take that. I'm finished with that. It mu I must have to do something to make the secret passageway appear, but what? Okay, so it's somewhere in this room. The hands move. Hmm. All of them? Okay. What else can we do? Hmm, not much to look at, honestly. Can I, like... I can't even see everything. Hmm. Okay. So, we need to... attention to the bird behind the curtain. Yeah, wait, Polly maybe... Polly is a super bird! Also, someone said that this is the same voice actor that does Nancy Drew's voice. Uh -oh. Not good. Stay away. Stay away. What's not good? Behind you. Don't look. Don't look. What's behind me? Don't look. Don't look. Okay, I won't. Nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> How about a hint? Talk to me. The hands on in the dragon, yeah. In which directions should I turn the hands on that dragon statue in the East Hall? Do you know? Edward knows. He's coated with answers. He's armed with the truth. Get the door! Mm. Get the door! If 
Hi, baby. Edward knows. <laughs> Which one is Edward again? I guess I could check. Um, if I go here, Edward. Oh. Oh, there, sixteen hundreds or eighteen hundreds. Um. Tell me about Edward, the one from the 19th century. He was a big explorer and went all over the world. Oh, he's the one with the parrot. He wasn't very close with his son, who was also an explorer. They'd only see each other by chance in weird remote places like Samarkand and Walla Walla. Is he the one who brought back the parrot? Um... I want to leave, thank you. Imagine knowing the Basha about your ancestors. Yeah, isn't it crazy that you basically know a little bit about your grandparents and then any anything of the generation above that you're already like, I don't know. At least I don't know. Hmm. Maybe that isn't Edward then. Why don't they have the names with them? I should have just checked how many generations back it was. It's on the door. Let's see. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. And the winner is Lulu. Polly is a stupid bird. Polly is a stupid bird. Thundercloud. Bis vivat ki bene vivat. Maybe each icon on the door is pointing? Maybe. Put the lens I got from the star box into the telescope Jane left in my room. Oh, she left it in your room? Maybe we should do that first. Oh. There are symbols in that mural that I couldn't see before. Uh-huh. So what do we do with those? Two parrot. So one mask. Should I write that down? One sad mask. Two parrot. Three. Is a harp? Four was the flute, and five is happy mask. Five things. Yep. Oh, and then I take it with me. Weird telescope doesn't... It's just for in this room, so it's on here. Hmm. I don't know what we need that information for, but check. I haven't done that yet. I have not, indeed. We did that. That's done. Ooh, this whole bottom section is done now. Nice. Okay, let's see. So I am lost when it comes to this. I don't know what this has to do with the hand position, though. Like, I could say this one's moving to the right, this one's looking to the left. Right, up, up, left, down, right. I would say this is down, though. Isn't this, like, something crashing down? The spear might be up, maybe. <laughs> so weird. That was it! Wow! Surprisingly easy. I was thinking overthinking it. There. I'm going to need a flashlight. Hmm. Shit. We need a flashlight. Maybe Jane has one. That's done. 
And we need to play a game to get it. You're gonna need a bigger boat. You're gonna need a bigger vocabulary. So, did you find what you were looking for on that secret passageway? I need a flashlight. In a very interesting house. I don't want to hear. It's so scary to think people can be looking about behind these walls. But you shouldn't tell anyone about them either. If you do, they'll probably close them off and say they're too dangerous. Hmm. Have you played that game on the computer in the library about the 13 ghosts? Why do you want to play some dumb old computer game when you can play a game with me? <sighs> no, I've never played it. Do you have a flashlight? <laughs> a flashlight? Oh, Nancy, flashlight. Oh, in Nancy. <laughs> in the UK, we call it a torch. A torch, I don't right. Have one, but I do have a whole bunch of glow sticks. If you want one, you have to play a game with me. That's the rule. This mm, is a game I, I bought knew in it. Arizona. You have to make as many matches as possible. On your mark, get set, go! Matches? Wait. Uh, how? Oh. Okay. So three or more? Um... Okay. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> um. There. Nice. I'm not sure how this game works, but I think I'm doing okay. 2600. So, was that good? Here's your glow stick. Oh. If this one goes out. I'll let you play for another one. Thanks. I should get going. Toodles. I guess I did it. Yeah, I need a high score. Oh. That's done. Play that Petra goes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, glow stick. Ooh, let's go explore. Thanks, Jane. Why do you have glow sticks, though? Did that... Did this... Dude just... Blink? Or did I not... Did I not see that correctly? Uh, wrong way. I did? Oh, okay, I, I did see it correctly, okay. Oh, do I have to do this every time? There we go. Ooh. Ooh, scary. Oh my god. Where the fuck are we? Oh, so scary. Oh my god, it goes so deep. Are you serious? What that is this? doesn't look like a curse. Can you go in? It's locked. Barber and a picture of a parrot. I wonder if Lulu has something to do with this. Hmm. Uh oh. Go, 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 go. Go back up, go to Lulu. Where do I go? Oh, oh, okay, we're out. Ah. Uh, Lulu. Who's the pretty bird in the mirror? You're gonna need a bigger Who's the pretty bird in the mirror? Hello. Does the word barber mean anything to you? Watch the magic word. Please. Uh, please? Ding. Sorry, that is incorrect. Lulu, the magic word magic is word. always please. Magic word, magic word, magic word. A deal's a deal. The word annoying comes to mind. <laughs> Sorry, that is incorrect. Magic word, magic word, magic word. A deal's a deal. Okay, okay. I guess I'll go try to figure out what the magic word is. Cheerio. 
<laughs> Cheerio, pip pip. Let's see if Jane knows. Because Jane knows a lot. Jane, I'm back. Hi, Nancy. Do you know what the magic word is for Lulu? Magic word? Uh, no. I think you're spending a bit too much time with that parrot. Maybe maybe the soon. lady who tends to the plan plants. Maybe she knows. Do you know anything about Lulu's magic word? Magic word? Oh, yes. Oh, you see, yes. My grandfather would play a word game with Lulu. I never understood how it was played, but they'd play for hours. Lulu would sometimes grow sullen and refuse to play the game anymore unless they told her that... Oh, what was it that they'd have to tell her? It's perched on the tip of my tongue. Ah, oh, they had to tell Lulu that she was a very, very clever and beautiful bird. Hmm. Would you have a torch that I could borrow? No, I'm afraid not. Jane ruined all of ours with some sort of experiment she cooked up. <laughs> but I believe she may have some of those glow sticks for a Glow sticks. Surdu is very beautiful. Why isn't there any water this in the well? This conservatory is very beautiful. Glow sticks. Any water in the well? I'm not quite sure. We never really used it, but it was always full of water. That is until my brother died. And then it just dried up. Most hmm. of these plants were brought over by my grandfather. He was quite the adventurer. I remember when he brought back Lulu from the Amazon. At first, Mother wouldn't allow us to play with it because it had picked up too many unsuitable words from the <laughs> sailors. But it gradually learned proper manners. <laughs> Goodbye. Run along. Okay. So now we have the magic word. Lulu, I'm back. Hello. I know the magic word. Magic word, magic word. What's the magic word? One of the birds like, Lulu I forgot. Very, I'm too very old. Clever and beautiful bird. Easy, Lulu. You're hurting my ears. <laughs> oh, what's your word? Barber. Leech. Leech, 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 leech. Okay, leech. Bye, bye bird. bird. I live, bye bye. I live, bye bye. <laughs> so funny. It's so. It goes so. What was that? Deep underground. Ah. But leech doesn't fit. Picture. Wait, wait, okay. There's probably a system to this. Barber is leech. Six to five words. Uh, letters. Picture. I wonder if we have to go back every time. Does the word picture mean anything to you? You very, very clever and beautiful bird, you. Picture <laughs> book! Picture book! Oh, so now we're down to four letters. Book. How does it go from barber to leech and a picture to book? Baby. Hmm, I think it's something that's just three letters then. Because it's getting shorter each time, right? Ayo! Mayo! Jin. Oh, very, very clever and beautiful bird. What's up with the word baby? Cake first, little hungry. Cake first, cake first. Oh, now we can test That's the cake. cake huh? All right, I'll see what I can do. Let's see if the one I made. See, like this? Hello. Lulu want a yummy cake? Cake, Lulu want cake. Do you like it? Yay! Okay, we did it! Lulu, tell me, what's up with the word baby? Bonnet. Baby bonnet. bonnet. Oh. Yeah, baby, baby bonnet. There goes my uh my theory that each one is shorter. 
bonnet. What is a bonnet? <laughs> that was so aggressive. Don't leave me, I love you! <laughs> Amazing. Now that's a, a sub notification right there. Don't leave me, I love you! <laughs> it's a little baby hat. Oh. Those little caps. Those little like uh, cotton caps. Oh my god, it just keeps going. Hour. I keep thinking, like, is there a... I keep trying to see a pattern to this, but... I have no idea. <gasps> Jesus! Me. Such a fright! <laughs> oh my god. What are you doing in there? Don't trust you now. Found a secret passage looking at the artifacts. I was looking at the artifacts. Don't trust They're her. quite intriguing. Oh, I see. Class. Well, I didn't realize you were so interested in the treasures of Blackmore. Do you think there is treasure hidden somewhere in the manor? <laughs> no, not at all. At oh, least, hourglass. not the treasure oh. you're probably thinking of. The Penvalens have lived here for centuries. The house resonates with their presence. Any hidden treasure in Blackmore would be found in the family's history, in the Penvalens' passions and deeds. Mm. Have you seen the book in Jane's room called the Mutus Lieber? Yes, the silent book. It's quite fascinating and very old. Jane's grandfather left it with me to give to her. Hmm. Do you know where it came from? No, I don't. But he regarded it as an heirloom and insisted that it belong to Jane and to Jane only. Hmm. Have you ever heard the legend about the Beast of Blackmoor? Of course. Everyone who grows up in these parts knows it. But it's just a myth. One that unfortunately proved to be quite damaging to the Penvalens. Damaging to the Penvalens? Well, yes. Eleanor Penvalen was executed because the villagers believed that she had created the beast. Things cannot get much more damaging than that. Hmm. Do you know much about the Penvalen family history? Only that they were a very well-respected and talented family. Many of my ancestors were tutors of some of the Penvalens, and I feel very honored to continue that tradition. What you're teaching Jane looks pretty rigorous. But interesting. I believe young people need to have a well-rounded education and learn what every other Penvalen should know. <laughs> well, I won't keep. Why you is any she longer. here? Goodbye, Nancy. You're gonna need a bigger boat. What was she doing in this corner of the hallway? Because it's just a dead end, and it leads to that room to the secret passageway. But there's nothing else here. Also, if we're finishing up the the words, what is a barber leech then? That the word hour means something to you. Glass! Hour! Glass! Mm hmm. Bye, Bye bird. bird. And. What's the. Oh, that's too long of a word, isn't it? The glass thing that you keep it in. Oh, and hill. Oh, that would be a good one. Yeah, that's probably it. Ooh, that was it! Oh, so dark in here, Jesus. What is this? It looks like the rest of this grid is on the other side of the wall. Hmm. So what are we doing? I 
other side of the wall, but we can't see it. This looks open. <laughs> um, triangles on both sides of the partition at the end of the passageway. Figure out how to access the other side. Oh, okay. Check. I'm finished with that. Um. I'm finished with that. That's done. Check. Check. Damn, we're racing through these. Triangles on both sides of the partition. So we need to get to the other side of the wall. Hmm. Don't see anything here though. Check! So it's a door and we just found another door. Hmm. Okay, we're out. Those glow sticks last quite a while. Should we go to sleep? Do the... Is she crying? Linda, I found the secret passageway. Jane told me where it is. But I didn't see any curse in there. How could you have missed it? It was right there, just waiting to be found. Wanting to be found. I can't believe how foolish I was. That stupid gargoyle. I hated how its evil eyes would stare at me whenever I walked to my room. So I moved it around, changed its position, kept fiddling with it. But when that secret door suddenly opened, I couldn't resist going in there. Which gargoyle is this? What do you mean, which gargoyle? I thought you said you found the secret passageway. So there's mm. more than one. Linda, I think someone's trying to scare you off. I think they thought you were getting too close to something that's hidden in this house. You're right. I did get too close to something. That witch. That witch that was burned at the stake. She's cursed me and she's probably cursed you too. Damn. I'll see okay. you soon. I hope so. Mmm. <laughs> see you later. Jeez. Um... Maybe we should try and talk to Jane before we go to bed. Hi, Nancy. No, nope, never mind. Get going. Ta ta. Ta ta. <laughs> Bedtime. I'm finally starting to struggle. By the way, today was really a day where I was like, oh, I would love some chocolate. <laughs> it's getting harder. It's four p.m. Um, so we want to get up at, wait, we want to get up at 1 a.m.? It was midnight, midnight to 4, right? Oh, so scary. I could never sleep in a room like that. Okay, so we need to go to the computer and start the game. Oh god. Uh f f f Perga Perga what? So who's ready to go in a ghost hunt? Me, me, me! Remember, you mustn't waste any time. Our little chums won't stay visible for long. So, on your mark, get set, go! Wait, what? What is this? Finding tiny ghosts? What do I need this for? I can't click it. It's a timer. So how do we find them? Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Hmm. There's one. That's two. But what if there's one in the kitchen? Three down. 
Ten to go. Ten to go. Is are they here too, or is it just in the hall? No, she said they said here too, right? It was in areas that were quiet. The main hall and this one. Let's see. I want to read that, but I need to... I'm ghost hunting right now. I don't see anything here, though. <gasps> okay, that was two here. I don't see anything there. Oh, there's one. Oh, oh my god, that one's so sneaky. I can't go in their rooms, can I? How many was that? Hmm. By my room? Oh. Here? Oh. Ten down, three to go. Three to go. Oh shit. Two by kitchen. But where though? There's one. That's eleven. Oh. There's one. So it's 12. Now we just need one last one. Buy the trophies. Okay, there's one there. Oh, but that's the gargoyle Linda was talking about. Oh shit. And it looks just like the one in that painting I saw. Okay, good to know. We'll pick that up some other time. There's one here. Ah. There. Ghost number 13. Oh, okay, we did it. Do I need to hurry back to? Congratulations, you're one of the few people who have did seen it. the 13 ghosts of Blackmoor Manor. As a reward, I'm going to let you in oh. on a little secret. Poggy Wockies. <laughs> When you are facing the green dragon, look to the left and pull below the vase with the tree. But a word to the wise, if you're wearing a hat, hang on to it. Have fun. Uh Okay, let's check that out. Hmm. So when you're facing the dragon. this oh oh holy shit it's a slide <laughs> what the fuck which brings us back to the main hall there were targets there too but i don't think we have anything to shoot with <laughs> Find something, some kind of ball to throw at the bullseye. Yeah, exactly. That's done. Okay, let's go back to the gargoyle. Gargoyle. There's got to be an easier way to figure this out. There's got to be an easier way to figure this out. Uh, there's a gargoyle in the portrait of one of Jane's ancestors. The coat of arms might hold a clue as to how to turn it. Okay. This crest appears to be missing. Hmm. Well, we found the gargoyle. So maybe the secret, this secret passageway leads to the other side of those triangles. 
Um, so she mentioned a coat of arms. Hmm. Oh, that was his. But it was missing, maybe. I don't get why they all have their own coat of arms, because this isn't like a family thing. Oh, maybe this is the one that's missing. Oh, there, the gargoyle. So it's facing that way? So he is the one with the hint, but his thing is missing. And what are all of these? Why can't we look at all of these? Who do these belong to? Speak to Nigel. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll find out what his coat of arms is. Um, I think it's time to go to bed then. Wait for Nigel to come back. Because it is the middle of the night. Um, let's wake up at... Oh, I completely forgot that clocks used to do that. Oh, the conservatory note, you're right. I completely forgot that alarm clocks had that dot on the side that was like an indicator whether you were setting the alarm or were looking at what time it was. God, that took me back to like middle school. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Ah! Oh! <gasps> I misclicked. <laughs> Second chance? Is that redo where I was? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh my god, I just misclicked. <laughs> okay, that's very dangerous. Got it. Oh! Hey! Maybe I should try feeding it something. What do you want to feed it, though? Can't you just feed it anything? That's Ow. the thing with these plants, is like you just stick something in there and then their reflex kicks in and they close shut. Maybe we can ask the lady tomorrow? Should we just get up at like 8 a.m., 9 a.m.? He'll probably be there, right? He'll come into work. Uh... Oh, that's scary. What did you eat? <laughs> oh, he's watching us. Holy shit, that was so cool! Always 3.15. Ooh. Spooky. Let's try again. Okay. Good morning, everyone! Wait, I have in class? Vir is Latin for what word? Man. Hmm. They just have in their class. There Who he is. Messy. Who is the man in the great hall with a gargoyle? That's Corbin Pendleton. Corbin. Born in 1670 and died in 1741, I believe. He was Eleanor's grandson and spent his life in France. It was rumored that he secretly returned to Black mm. to continue his grandmother's experiments in the mystical arts. The Where mystical can I find arts. his coat of arms? I didn't realize you were so interested in Penvalin history. I'd be happy to show you his coat of arms, but I'm in dire need of a typist. Perhaps if you can help me out, I can find that which you seek. It's I can type. Deal. What do you want me to do? Perhaps first we should see how fast you type. This program will <laughs> Dude. Speed. Just type the characters that appear on the screen. Uh-huh. 
If you're good enough, I'll let you type up my memoirs, and then I'll last let you time, see the coat of arms. Last time we got 50... Um, 59? Why is that E not... Oh, because I'm not on the right letter. Eh, 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 I'm off. I did better last time. I can't, I don't perform well with an audience. Nancy is shy, you know. Mm. Ah, you. Mm. <laughs> 48. I did a lot worse this time. What? That's terrible. My pet chinchilla could do better than that. Wow. Uh, eh. What are C? Why are. Oh, 55. Excellent score. Now, here's what I'd like you to type up. These are my memoirs. I think you'll find them quite interesting. I was very, very tiny. These are the most boring memoirs I've ever read. I wish I could life. type it. I like typing. <laughs> Phew, done. Finally. I feel like I've been typing forever. <laughs> Nigel! Nigel! Yes? Where is he? Nancy, thanks so much for your work. Here's your reward. Attached is a sketch of Corbin's crest that I found in the Chateau de Vertu in France. Never found a picture of it here in Blackmore. So we have it now? Nice. Okay, we did it. No key without toil, no fire without oil. No key without toil, no fire without oil. No key without toil, no fire without oil. No what? No without oil. what are they doing? No fire without oil. Uh, She's oh yeah. evil, isn't she? Actions ensure that my name will endure to the end. <laughs> she looks so creepy. Then, but then. <laughs> The fuck? That was a little creepy. I did it it's perfect that time, didn't I? We're almost perfect. You did very well. But remember, this must remain a secret. Do not discuss it with anyone. Yes, asshole. And don't forget, you have a math exam tomorrow. This yes, is weird. Be sure to brush your teeth. Yes, asshole. Good night. What is she doing? <laughs> Smells like oil. Weird. Anything we can throw in there? Not really. Hmm. Is she still up there? Nope. So, okay. This means something. Maybe it's like two times to the right, once to the left, right, left, left, right. So... Two, one, two, one, two, one. Oh, holy shit! Damn, I I cracked that fast. Surprised uh -oh. myself. <gasps> Looks like it's time for another glow stick. Shit! Quick, go out. Oh, but she's, she's sleeping. Shit. Now we have to wait till tomorrow. Oh, that one was actually good. There we go. Nice.
That good? Oh, I got a little bit lower. Fanfare, please. Here you go. Oh, still got it. Nice. Jane, I saw you and Ethel performing some kind of ritual. What were you doing? I'll get better at it, probably. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hmm. You and Ethel were pouring oil or something. I saw it. You can't deny it. Drain. Cool, you're a daft one. Imagine me and Ethel running around in the middle of the night pouring oil down drains. Hmm. I didn't say anything about it taking place in the middle Got her. of the night. Well, uh, isn't that when weird rituals take place? <laughs> Got you. In the dead of night? Anyway, you were probably just having a bad dream. Believe me, this castle can sometimes give you nightmares. Mm. I should get going. Au revoir. Nancy's so smart. I always love it in movies when they do that. When it's like, but I didn't tell you this and this. And it's like, oh, got him! Okay, let's see. What do we got? Oh, the runes! We've written that down before. Here we go. <laughs> I got my whole thing. What should we make a word? Yeah, we have to make a word. Hmm. Maybe there's no hint Only here. Only the right? blameless oh. shall pass here. All others shall transform into beasts. Tooth and nail shall grow long, and hair shall turn coarse, till their aspect be as loathsome as their cold hearts. Prove thy worthiness and memorialize here the innocent one so wrongly condemned for saving lives. The witch. Else consider thyself right and truly cursed. Okay. Prove the worthiness and memorialize here the innocent one. So, the one who got burned at the stake for being a witch, that person's name. Um, it was, and they went to France, right? What can you tell me about Eleanor? Just that she was burned as a witch, but it wasn't true. Yeah, Eleanor. Her father, James, died when he saw her die. And then the family Should we do Eleanor? went to France. I don't want to talk about this. Eleanor. Let's try that. Oh my god, every time. Eleanor. Uh I got E L O I Ellen. Ellen O R Eleanor Nice Oh There we go What is this? Ooh, what is this? Hmm. Maybe this was some kind of security system that Eleanor devised when she was helping Cromwell's enemies get out of the country. Huh. I can see into the library. Huh. Wow. Cool. Hmm. I don't know what to do with the hands, though. Wait, but if this opens up, then it just leads to the library. Hmm. I was hoping for the triangles, but... Wait, I can go two ways? So this is where I was. What if I just go straight? Oh, I have to go... Oh, further down? Uh, 
Where's this lead? It's so hard to see as well. Ah, it is here. So what do we do? Do we just want to have them all up? Like that? Because these are up, so maybe that's the idea. I'm gonna try and set the other triangles to up as well. Oh my god, where am I? Now they're all up. Okay, so that's not it. So there's probably a certain pattern we need. Something must happen when you push the fingers. Right combination. Which way those triangle at the ends of this? Yeah. So we need to find out a pattern. The innocent one. Yeah, we did That's that. Done. That's done. Look for a clue in Corbin's coat of arms. I'm finished with that. Pass the typing test. Check. Okay, and we need to find a ball. I haven't done that. I haven't done that. Elements and triangles are related. Oh, yeah. So there's three rows of four, right? I need to put this stick away. Maybe it's in that old book. That she has. Maybe it's in here somewhere. Triangles. And this is the icon for the gargoyle, so maybe. But what does it mean? <laughs> Triangles in the other side change too when you push them. Maybe. Oh, maybe it's this. Because this is... Uh, four by three. Maybe this is important. Something must happen when you push the fingers of contraption in the gargle passageway. Find out what. So that might have something to do with Eleanor. So many things in here. Hmm. Some of these we we keep seeing a comet as well. We keep seeing the mouse. That was the dude with the parrot. Hmm. I wish I could take this book with me. Maybe we should try the mom or let's just talk to everyone again. Linda, how what are you doing? It? I've been hearing things. Okay. Music, very faint, very brief. Out of nowhere, <clears throat> going nowhere. Like bells in a faraway church. Actually, that was me. Have you ever heard them before? No. Well, I heard them too, so don't worry. You're not hearing things. Mm. Tell me again how you opened up that secret passageway. Not on your life. I've already said too much. Hmm. Is there anything I can get for you? A well full of nice cold water sounds Ask good. about the fly trap. Oh, the yeah. The is so dry and I always seem to be thirsty. And I get so hungry. I'm hungry right go. now. Why? Why? I said go. Now. Get out. Do you hear me? Get out! Okay. Let me just make a phone call first. <laughs> um, let's go downstairs. Let's talk to Nigel first because he's just right here. Yes. Mm, what do you all. think of Ethel Bosney? I think she's an odd lot, that one. She has no lot. formal background in pedagogy or scholarship. I would be a much better influence on Jane were I her tutor, but Mrs. Drake insists on employing Ethel. Hmm. Why? Why is she so important? Your memoirs were quite intriguing. 
Will they be published soon? Well, no. But I figure that I might as well get them out of the way so that once I do become famous, they'll be ready. How will you become famous? Once I write my book on the Penvalens, it's sure to be a bestseller. Especially if I... if I, uh, get some good press on it. I'll let you get back to your work. Tally-ho! Tally-ho! Okay. See if she can help us. Turn! she here? Don't click on the plant. <laughs> yes? I think Ethel is trying to recruit Jane into some kind of secret society. Oh, for heaven's sake, John. <laughs> secret Where society. Such nonsense? I saw Ethel and Jane performing this ritual in the Great Hall in the middle of the night. Poppycock! A ritual in the middle of the night? Young lady, I will not abide such wild stories. Imagine Ethel Bossany recruiting my grandniece into some kind of Secret society! <laughs> Next thing you'll be saying, Linda has been cursed by some roving spirit. Or that we have ghosts prowling about. Uh, right. Well, I'm sorry for bothering you. The pleasure is all mine, child. Poppycock! Um, oh, I can't go in here when she's here. Hmm. Okay, well, let me save. Maybe when I click on the plant, when she's around, she'll stop me and then tell me something. Or I'll just eat shit in front of her. Plants is probably not a good idea. Ah! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> she just stands there and is like, well, someone died again. Not my fault. Okay, what do we do? I want to just throw like a match in there. We also still have that lightning bolt that we don't know what to do with. <clears throat> I did hear flies when you were by the man eating plants. Hmm. Check Granny's book. The pillars? Yeah, the pillars I saw. Can I check this? Looks like a oh, piece shit. is missing. Oh, there's like tiny pieces missing. Uh, maybe there's one with a thunderbolt somewhere. I can't look at that one. He's missing his head! Looks like a piece is missing. Oh. Um. Oh, does he want it? Looks like a piece is missing. Oh. oh. Is that how I'm gonna fix water? I have no idea. Oh, and then we get it back. Hmm. I have no idea what way it should open up all the columns in the green hall. Oh, so if we have all the pieces, then we can connect the pipeline. So we probably need more pieces first. Hmm. I want to find a ball. Hmm. Check the trophy. Ooh, yeah. There's a ball in there, isn't there? I ah. could try to hit the bullseye I saw when I went down that slide with a cricket ball. Let's fucking go. Wait, where was the slide? Yes. Okay, so do I need to get it ready? Oh. Oh god. What is that? A clock. 
clock face. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, what am I doing here? Okay. So we gotta... Is there a... Oh, Jesus! I guess I should explain. <laughs> I see you did not heed my warning. No. I realize you're a very curious young woman. <laughs> but know this. These passageways can only lead to misfortune for the uninitiated. And I am not only speaking of physical peril. Would being initiated have anything to do with secret rituals in the middle of the night? Nancy, I know you're a good person and mean well. And I understand you feel compelled to discover what is happening to Linda. But I also have certain duties which may conflict with yours. I will not interfere as long as I am prohibited from doing so. But know that the instant I receive the word, you will no longer be welcomed in Blackmore. Good day. Okay, then. Ethel is mean. Nah, yeah, there's something up with her, but I don't... I don't think she's, like, the bad one. Because wouldn't that be too obvious? Where have we seen a clock face? Column by the door? Is there one that I haven't seen? Oh, this one. Looks like a piece oh. Is missing. Oh shit. This is a different sound. Hear that? So Like that. That sound. I don't know if it means anything, but... Okay. So we have the triangles. We use the runes. We can ask for a hint, but we need to make the thing again. So someone said, uh, actually, that... I'm going to bake another cake for Lulu, if that's okay. Good someone said that you can just use anything. The percentage doesn't matter, but you just need to... Let's see, where is it? Percentage doesn't matter, but you just need to make sure there's nothing poisonous in it. So we used lettuce last time, mealworms, uh, beans. Peanuts, walnuts, crackers. No avocado, no chocolate. Nuts. I think that's it. I don't think... Oh, blueberries as well. I think that's good. Maybe? Delicious! Ask for so many hints that the bird just dies from overfeeding. So she doesn't want to tell us anything. How's she doing? Tell her she can't trust Essel. Oh, what's that? Yuck. Did you order this meat? I told you I get hungry. Now go away. Oh. That's a raw steak though. Hi, Linda. <sighs> I'll be going now. Hmm. <laughs> Straight up ignoring me. Okay. The meat is bleeding. Ugh. Let's go to this guy. Hello! Lulu want a yummy cake? Cake! Lulu want cake! Let's see if it's delicious. Don't die. Delicious. Any hint as to what the deal is with the bullseye I passed when I went down the slide? No. The old knight I found by the people. The grid I found at the end of the, yeah that Any one. Any hint when it comes to the grid I found at the end of that secret passageway? Hot marks the spot. Hot marks the spot. Two sides to every story. Bye, bird. Hot <laughs> marks the spot. Polly is a stupid bird. Polly is a stupid bird. Maybe the kitchen. Who's 
a pretty bird in the mirror. <laughs> Um, I forgot about this thing here. There's something here we were looking through, right? Oh, because we saw the desk. I don't see anything now. Hmm. Oh. What do we do with this? Hmm. I can look at it, but I don't know what it needs. Glasses? Do you want the telescope? <laughs> hmm. Oh, right, he's holding something. Yes. I'll so maybe when we give work. him whatever Goodbye. key item he wants. He'll let go of that thing that he's holding. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Petrov. Hi, what's going on? Hmm. When you were here visiting Linda, did you ever see or hear anything odd? Yes, Mrs. Drake. Why do you ask? Blackmore Manor looks like the kind of place that most people would assume is haunted, don't you think? Frankly, I was too worried about Linda to take notice of much of anything there. Except that most of the rooms I saw look like they'd been decorated by a medieval monkey. Did Linda say anything to you about finding a secret passageway? No. Linda told you she found a secret passageway? Yes. Do you think she wasn't telling the truth? I don't know. Given her fragile state of mind, what's true and what she thinks is true may well be two different things, that's all. The good news is, I found a secret passageway, too. So Linda wasn't imagining things. That's encouraging. The bad news is, I didn't see what Linda says she saw inside it. Oh, and we're back to square one. Did you meet Nigel Mukherjee when you were here? Mm, not really. Mrs. Drake told me who he was, but whenever I passed the library, he was always on his cell phone talking as if he didn't want anyone to hear. You know, furtively. Could you hear what he was saying? Not a word. He was taking great pains to make sure he was not overheard. Say, you hmm. don't suppose he has something to do with what's been happening to Linda, do you? I'm not sure yet. I'm still, you know, <laughs> gathering facts. I'd forgotten all about him until just now. He was up to something. I don't know what, but he was up to something. Hmm. Goodbye, Mrs. Petrov. I mean, Thank yeah. You, he wants to get rich off of his story, right? So. How's Nat doing? Hello? Hi, Ned. Hey, what's the latest? Hmm. I think Linda may be turning into the Beast of Blackmore. Excuse me? <laughs> See, I found this book that had information on lycanthropy in it. Lycanthropy? Werewolves? Sounds Basically, so weird. Yes. Lycanthropy. Anyway, I called this expert, and from what she said, I really think Linda thinks she's been cursed to become the legendary beast of Blackmore. So it's all in her head. Right. Linda's symptoms are probably all psychosomatic. Probably? I mean, her symptoms are all psychosomatic. <laughs> uh, hopefully. So what does this beast of Blackmore do? Um, I mean, it's all uh, psychosomatic because we haven't even seen her, so we can't really... We're saying probably because we can't confirm, right? Um... Sully the family name, mostly. Ah, kind of like my cousin Higby. The guy who wrestles hogs for a living? That's the one. <laughs> Apparently, each of Jane's ancestors had different coats of arms. Really? That's odd. You'd think there would be just one coat of arms for the whole family. That's what I said. Believe me, the Pendleton family is nothing if not odd. Each coat of arms includes very distinct images and symbols. I wonder why they're so different. It's a long story, hmm. but I'm beginning to think that each Pendleton left behind a puzzle. And that his or her coat of arms contains clues to solving that puzzle. Makes sense. I mean, in an oddball Pendlinian sort of way. <laughs> talk to I'll you talk soon. I'll talk to you soon. I'll be waiting. No, he's so nice. How's she doing? Mm. 
This is Paliki. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Mm, this is Paliki. I have another question, you know, about lycanthropy? I'm listening. Um... Do you think seeing an ancient curse would be enough to send someone, you know, over the lycanthropic edge? <laughs> of course, a person cannot morph into XYZ if that person has no idea what XYZ is. She has to have some prior knowledge of the creature she thinks she has been condemned to become. Hmm. A book, a website, a movie, a play, a casual anecdote, any number of things could provide her subconscious brain with clues as to how she is to look, feel, and behave in her altered form. Okay. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. You're welcome. We still don't have anything done with the telescope and the icons for that. The symbols from your room kind of look like the ones in the game in the Great Hall. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's try and spy. Hmm. There's not much going on here. I don't think... I don't think we can spy on him. Something must happen when you push the fingers of that contraption. In just the right combination. Find out what. But we don't know the combination. I have no idea what this does either. Oh. I just made that statue of Mercury move. Hmm. Uh huh. But where do we want it to move? <laughs> he runs out of the room scared. Now it's facing the wall. What do you think we need to do? Wasn't there something about looking up? Well, I can't move the head, can I? And I just laughed off as hints about the position. The lighter click is probably his eyes. There's another wall with the people. Oh. <laughs> He's gone. Let's see. The riddles I found in Corbin's secret room in France make reference to the Mercury column and how his key is held in hand. Most likely the statue in the library. And that only by persuading Mercury to face north and lift his eyes to the sky will the wand key be released. So north and up. I'm sure the mechanism to move this is in a hidden passage. But how do we know what direction is north? Is there a compass somewhere? Like a decoration somewhere? There might be something in my room. No window seat. Oh, puzzle. Wonder Actually, there is. There. Something fits in here, but what? I have no idea. The telescope? Oh. Ooh, what? Um. These are like horoscopes, right? Scorpio, I think. Um, so we need to find out which one to press. Hmm. Didn't we? Oh, our phone. We had a thing. There. Here. Zodiac symbols, planetary symbols. Um, planets also appear to move through the zodiac, and like the constellations, they have been named after Roman and Greek gods. Hmm. We saw Aquarius in there. These and many other heavenly bodies appear and disappear from the sky. Okay, so I have the information. But we need to know what it wants. Hmm. 
Like, what's the hint? What? Oh, maybe that's what the tapestry on the wall is for. So maybe it wants five things. And the five things are... The mask, parrot, harp, flute... Is, are they associated with something, maybe? Try pushing them in order. All of them? Okay, so they are all here. Oh! That was it! What? The moon. We got a moon piece. Huh. Moon piece. I think there was a um, another pillar here. The one, this one. Hmm. So it's just another one of these. Oh, this is a different one. That sounds different. Yeah. Whatever that does. Yeah, we have three now, so we need that one. So we have three and we need three more. That one, that one, that one. We need the head. We still don't know which direction is north. <laughs> I'm looking to the side. He's <laughs> side-eyeing me. Okay. Well, as soon as we figure out north, we can just try any direction with the eyes and it'll eventually... I mean, we could just try all the combinations and then eventually it'll just work. Mm, is it this way? Yes. So, let's move all the eyes. Oh, maybe... Oh, maybe we should do this. I don't know if that does anything. Just to go back and forth every time. So this is the ring finger we now just did. It was the pinky was him looking to his left. And now we did the ring finger. Now he's looking to the l right. We're probably gonna go, go like one by one. <laughs> now we're gonna. Now he's gonna look down on the next one. So let's try this one. Oh, he's looking up. Nice. So, is that just for another pillar? Maybe it's for this guy. That sounds special. Hmm. This one I don't know. Well, we have four out of six. We're getting closer, but not necessarily like... Uh, I'll just save that. Yeah. That's good. Just in case, you know? We're getting stuff done, so I might as well save it. That's done. That's done. Something must happen when you push the fingers. Yes. I'm finished with that. Hmm. So we're left with triangle puzzle and columns. But triangle puzzle I feel like is for like much later. Maybe there's like a thing in here. It stopped working. Oh shit. It's actually broken. Hmm. I need something to wind it up. Hmm. I have nothing. 
That might be one. There might be one in there. Okay, just be careful here. Don't want to click on this plant. Yes. I'd like to play the car machine go. in the Great Hall, but it's broken. It's not broken. I removed its crank as it was proving to be too much of a distraction for Jane. <laughs> I suppose I could see where it's gone to. But in the meantime, oh dear, and do something for me, would you? Sure. Sure. Do you see that hodgepodge of plants over there? They're my prize seedlings. Mm. I had them perfectly arranged in that box so I could easily move them about to catch the light. Yes. Unfortunately, Jane took all of them out when I wasn't looking. And now for the life of me, I cannot get them back in the box so that they all fit. Why okay. don't you give it a try while I see about that crank? If we both succeed, we shall both be happy. If you catch my meaning. Remember, they must all fit in that box. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so... Ugh. This is gonna be hard. This is a big one. Ooh, that fits nicely in between there. Hmm. Can I turn them? <gasps> I can't. Hmm. I'm pretty happy with this row, but... And this is nice, but this isn't. Maybe if I... Yeah, that's better. Close. This is a good idea, and this is nice, but how do I move this about so that most fit in there? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Need something that fills this up properly. Oh wait. That fits. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Boom, baby. Yeah. Nice. I did it. Now don't get eaten by the plant. Happens to happen twice already. Where is she? Do you think she's back in the main hall? Did she do it? Something to wind it up. Then where the where the fuck did she go? She didn't give me anything, did she? No. Where do you think she is? Oh, he covered it <laughs> so he could go back to ah, work. <laughs> there you are. I'm sorry to inform you that I shall soon be leaving Blackmore. I just have a few things to take care of, and then I shall bid you adieu. Hmm. Why? Where are you going? I have good reason to believe this place is genuinely <laughs> haunted. There's no way I'm staying here one minute longer. Oh my than god, I dude, to. that was totally Thankfully, me. I finished most of my research and have enough to start my book. Hmm. I'll let you get back to your work. Goodbye. Oh, uh, she doesn't even. Why doesn't she just be like? Why doesn't she just explain to him that that was her? Oh, there she yes. is. 
I managed to get all those seedlings back in the box. Wonderful. And I managed to find that crank. There you go. Wonderful. Great. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Run along. <laughs> Ta-ta. I got a butter glue. Yes. Okay. That's an old crank. Um... Those symbols look familiar. Oh! That's the ones we found on the... Okay. So, we need to start with this one. But I don't know why. This is like, go fish. So she didn't have anything? So does that- oh, so this is all mine. These are the cards I have. So I asked her for a flute card and she gave me one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. But she didn't give me two, so that means she doesn't have that right now. So I got that one. She got that one. Now I have two. Oh, I got it. That's the first one. So now I need the parrot. But I don't have that one. Need to click those five symbols before playing with her. Okay, wait, so do I cancel out then? So, click these. One, two, oh! Okay, now that works. Okay, carp, flute, and the mask. Maybe she'll oh. give that to me if I win. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now I got it. Okay, so now I just need to end up with more... more sets than she will. Okay, she got one of those. Nothing for that. She got another parrot. Okay. Um. She did have that one. Nice. Yay! One complete. Okay, she has another parrot. Fuck. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, I got one! What? Oh no. She's stealing these? Shit. Bonk. I kind of just need to guess. Is this the cards that she's getting? Oh. I didn't even see that one. Okay, three to two. Mm. Nope. Oh, I got it myself. Nice. Oh, she has all the parrots now. Fuck. Can I also just draw? Oh, she's asking for those that I don't have. Oh. 
So she wants those. Um, ooh, parrots. I know you have those. Nice. Okay, we're almost there. There's only two left. Okay. So now she asked for that. Oh, now I get it. And then I gave it away. Fuck. And now she's asking for that. No! Did she win? One, two, three, four, five. No, I won. I won! Oh, <sighs> right, Betty. Pay up. My God. Uh, Jay Lee, thanks for the gift that subs. I got it. Okay, bye. So that's five out of six we have. We need one more. They sound the same. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And we still have the crank. Hmm. What do we need for the last one? We have these. Oh, the head. We need the head. Huh. Knight's head. Fix the triangles. Uh, I don't know how. We don't know in what order they need to be. And the parrot said something about hot marks the spot. Fire symbol. Oh, hot marks the spot. Maybe. Let's see. Um, I wrote them down. Which one was fire? Oh, just the triangle. So this is fire. Upper triangle. So this one. They need to point up like the fire symbol. Oh, that's it? It's that easy? They just need to be up? Hmm. I'm worried that I don't want to switch anything on the right. That did it! We did it! What? Wow, looks like Ooh. I won't be needing any more of Jane's glow sticks. Oh, thank fuck. We have a glow stone. Thanks. Okay. Um. So what is up here? Oh my gosh, the room is moving. Is it an elevator? Wait, what if we go back? Okay, so the symbols are on the door. Hmm. Oh, this is a different one. Wait, so we have this four icon and... Cheat. <laughs> Japanese cheat. Uh, I have the picture of all of them. Do you think we just need to do them in the right order again? Okay, so right now we can choose between Saturn and Jupiter. Should we just go with whatever is closer to us, to the Earth? So now we can choose... Oh, still those. Okay. Now we can choose Venus. Or the moon. 
And that's it. How does this work? Save, maybe? I don't know if I want to save in here. Maybe put them in order. That's what I was thinking, but... There's... Venus and the moon, so Mercury is missing. Um, I'll try the moon. What is this? Oh! Excuse me? What do we do here? The red dot is me. That's the map. Oh. So we're at the sun right now? What does this mean? Oh, so this rotates around me. It doesn't go up or down. It's just around me. Oh my god, I'm so confused. So wait, if this is the map... Oh, I can't look at it anymore. Does that mean that this is the way out? So, did we rotate just now? It's in my inventory? Oh, I picked it up! Oh! Okay, okay, okay. That makes things better, yeah. So, we're trying to reach this room probably, right? Oh, so these are rooms that we are in. So we can go to the outer ring. Okay, okay. I think I have an idea. Oh, confusing. Okay, so all of these rotate, this rotates around. Okay, let's try that again. So now we should be able to get there. But... We need to not exit to a devil. So we're gonna rotate again. One... Two... Three. And now we're going to exit. <laughs> Once I hit the map, I was like, oh, now I get it. <laughs> oh god, I don't get it. What is this? Disconnected. Weird symbols. Maybe knowing what that snake symbol means will help me figure out what the others mean. Hmm. Found a door that had this weird symbol of a snake swallowing its own tail on it. Maybe Nigel can tell me what it means. Nigel, so you want to go all the way back? I guess so. But does that mean we need to go through this contraption again? Go back out, go see Nigel. Jeez, that's a confusing set of hallways to go through. The rotating rooms. Well, actually, it's not too hard. I think if I stay in the first room and just rotate with it, I think I made it more difficult than it was. But that's for next time. For now, we're going to go see Nigel. Oh, I got my glowing rock still. <laughs> Okay, how are you doing? Do you know what the symbol of a snake eating its tail signifies? Ouroboros. It's a very old image and is usually associated with alchemy. You really do come up with the strangest questions, Nancy. I'll let you get back to your work. That's it? Hello. Really? Yes. I'll let you get back to I your mean, work. I mean, we knew it was Hello. Ouroboros. <laughs> Symbol of a snake swallowing sails or rovers as usually associated with alchemy. I could probably find more information on alchemy if I do a web search. Okay. It would it would Oh. 
It would be rude to use it now. It would it would be it would be it would be it would be rude to use it now. Okay, I'll use it here. Um web search. Alchemy symbols. Okay, alchemy, the attempt of ancient practitioners to turn base metals into gold in their search for perfection and immortality had its origin in pharaonic is pharaoh pharaoh on pharaonic? Yeah, is that how you say that? Egypt and Hellenic Greece. Um Al means the in Arabic, while kemi probably me comes from the Greek word kemia, which means cast together. Although considered to be the precursor of modern chemistry, alchemy was actually an ever-evolving combination of fact, philosophy, and religion molded by the times and culture in which it was being practiced. Despite the fact that alchemy spanned thousands of years in three continents, certain symbols became standard and are still understood today. Um... Below are some alchemy s alchemical symbols and their meanings. Okay. That's a lot of symbols. Alchemists routinely processed and or combined substances in order to create new ones. For instance, they collected the oily material that forms naturally as sulfur-bearing rocks weather, distilled it to make green vitriol, iron sulfate, and then distilled green vitriol to make vitriol, sulfuric acid. They also collected nitri... nitri? Potassium nitrate, the salt-like crust which formed on piles of soil rich in animal waste. Uh, they would then combine vitriol and nitrate to make aqua fortis nitric acid. They would also distill green vitriol and common salt to make spirit of salt, hyd hyd hydrochloric acid. When three parts spirit of salt were combined with one part aqua fortis, it would create aqua regia. Royal water was the only substance that could dissolve gold. Lime was created by burning chalk or limestone, while mercury was obtained by burning cinnabar. Cinnabar, that takes me back to um, that Chinese indie horror that we played. Paper Dolls, Chapter 2. We were looking for cinnabar in that game. Or Latin with mercury sulfide, substance called liquor hepatis, which is the zodiac sign for Capricorn, was created by distilling sulfur, lime, and cell ammoniac. Ammonium chloride. This sulfurous liquid was of a special interest to Egyptian alchemists because when distilled, liquor hepatis produced no solids, only gas, which led them to believe they had isolated the essence of the soul. Okay, that had nothing on Urobors. So what does this mean? Aqua Fortis. I think that's the symbol that we had in the... Looks a lot like the... The esports team icon. <laughs> One of the teams has an icon like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go here, but back up. And that should rotate me. Yes. Uh, this one, but back up. And now I'm at the exit. that easy yeah okay that's the icon so oh okay let's go back to the world wide web so they want aqua fortis right Oh, so we need to okay to make aqua fortis nitric acid. So we meet. We need to combine vitriol and nitre in this pot, probably. Vitriol and nitre. Um, they collected the oil and material, distilled it to make green vitriol, and distilled that to make vitriol. Okay, so is there an icon for that? This one. I wish I could do this at the same time. So it's the one in the bottom left corner is vitriol. Um, combine that with nitre, however you want to pronounce that. Where is it? Is there an icon for that? Oh, this one. The no. 
So, okay. So we want to combine this one with this one. Does that do it? Oh, that did it. Okay, now we want the R one. This one, Aqua Regia. Which is this one. Uh, three parts of salt with one part aqua fortis. Okay, okay, okay. So, green vitriol with spirit of salt. They would distill green vitriol and common salt to make spirit of salt. Three parts of that combine it with aqua fortis. So, three of those. with one part aqua fortis which is the f1 oh so we make that no fuck do we need to make aqua fortis again you think snake and circle One of those, one, two, three. That's it, okay. Now what is this? We are looking at mercury. Mercury was obtained by burning cinnabar. Uh, um, which is this, I think. Oh, fire. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, now this plus icon. Distilled vinegar. Well, I see distilling in the article and it says, a substance called licor hepatis, the symbol for which matches the zodiac sign for Capricorn, was created by distilling sulfur, lime, and cell ammoniac. This sulfurous liquid was of special interest to Egyptian alchemists because when distilled, it produced no solids, only gas. There is an icon for distillation. Um, and it's this one. So we have a distill button, yes. That was it. Okay. The last one is liquor hepatis. Okay, so that's the thing that we were looking at, right? That we were trying to make. Yeah. So I need lime or chalk. Chalk or limestone. Quick, quick lime. There's quick lime. Maybe that one. So this, the bottom right icon is lime. So that needs to be burned, right? Okay, so that's what we're going to start with. So technically we should have lime now. We should distill that. So we need this one as well. And now we need sulfur and cell ammoniac. Sulfur is this one. And this one. Then you get the carapatus. I did it wrong. Don't think you have to burn quick lime. Oh, you're right. Yep. Yeah. And then the distilling icon was the M, wasn't it? Yeah. This one. Oh, my brain. <laughs> Jesus, that was hard. So where are we? I put my rock away. A keyhole. Oh, that's a keyhole. Begun to take note of my clandestine activities, reporting to the constable that they have heard strange noises and seen strange lights when passing the manor at night. I am loath to curtail my experiments for 
for for working in such close proximity to the treasure is a boon to my spirits. I fear something. Hmm. Okay. Surely this is one of the most ingenious machines ever created, saving no doubt the lives of many innocent men. The fact that it played a part in my grandmother's condemnation and execution is as cruel as irony. Oh. Controls whether Mercury shall move. So we kind of just... Yeah, okay. So we just forced that puzzle. Cannot believe that Garrett is gone. The tragedy has caused his mother to shun all light, seeking solace in silence and shadow. But finding it not his sister, finding it not, his sister having shared the bright day of his birth, cannot but constantly rel relive the gray day of his passing. And I, his father, find my thoughts going to him like May flies to the hearth. What was, what could have been, what is to become of the Pendolin name? Um, question of who will inherit the throne of England personally relevant for I, like Henry, lack a male heir and there is much at stake. But unlike the king, tradition is at my mercy. Not I at its, nor am I bound by the notion that... It's hard to read, that's why I'm reading so slow. That power can be passed from men to men only. In my years on the bench, I have seen far too many dull husbands. Will be solved by contracting the services of one family. The members of this family will be charged with preserving our traditions and teaching them to the firstborn child of the appropriate generation under strict secrecy. It is conceivable that through the centuries they will know more about our family than do we pen villains. But by this means and by this means alone will it be past possible to ensure that our treasure is never found. I do hereby decree that an initiate may be male or female and that the education of said initiate is to begin no sooner than the 12th. Wait, was that it? Yeah, that's it. Ah, no, go back. I want to I want back out. Okay, thank you. Hmm, this is really old. This oh. looks like some kind of medieval forge. Uh -huh. Looks like a chunk of metal oh are we gonna make the face here this looks like some kind of ancient mold by pulling out different plugs i can create different patterns in the mold oh okay oh my god there's so much here oh god master of the winds the ancients believed that Aeolus, I don't know how to say that, was the keeper of the four winds. Zephyro, Zephyros, the west wind, Boreas, the north. I can't read this. Here is the east. Aeolus held them all captive, releasing them as gales or breezes, only when the deity so ordered. This was a somber responsibility for wind. The rush of air was vital for producing and maintaining fire. And with fire, all manner of weapons and tools could be forged. But sometimes the winds would escape and Aeolus would have to capture them all over again. This was not easy, not even for someone as powerful as he, for the winds veered about cap veered about capriciously and blew fiercely. God, this is really testing my English skills. Should one of the winds find Aeolus in his path, he would attempt to blow him into one of the bottomless pits that packed the world back then. Pocked? But Aeolus persevered, sometimes taking one giant step, sometimes two. <laughs> and one by one he would catch the four winds and tuck them away until they were needed. Sometimes to keep him busy, the deities would summon him to lift some something that they could not. And he never failed them. No wind was too strong, no weight too heavy for the mighty Aeolus. This is My so hard to read. Initiate. Oh, thank you.
You're not gonna eat the rest? I thought you were gonna take over. Um, congratulations for progressing, progressing this far. Your goal may not be in sight, but it's very, very close. I leave this for you because the Athenor can be daunting and not a little discouraging. Just bear in mind that to use it, you must fight first light it, and to light it, you must... Penelope Penvalin. Wow, this letter was written more than 200 years ago. To light it, you must give it four things. Earth, air, water, and fire. Should you require more information, consult the... Mutus Liber, something even my grandfather Corbin apparently did with some frequency. I regret that we shall never meet, but you will get a glimpse into my life when you encounter my contribution to the security of our treasure. Likewise, where were I somehow able to project myself into the future, I would learn something about you were I to come across the obstacle which you will have created. Blackmore Manor is indeed the sum of the hearts and minds of all who have dwelt here. Welcome, Penelope. Okay, Lydia, Blackmore Manor has remained largely intact all these years. Would that I could lay claim to my birthright and live here openly. But Lydia tells me that my grandmother's name still stirs fear and hatred in the hearts of nearby villagers. Council's discretion, perhaps Philippe. Anything else? I think that's just the book, or is this a different book? People. West, east, upper level. Main level, west, east. Chimes and peepholes. Well lock. Moving rooms. Oh, there's a well lock to the side that I didn't see. Huh. Welcome, dear initiate, pride of the Penvalon heritage. Here you will face many trials, but persevere. For your reward shall be the knowledge of those who have pressed passed before you and the honor of those to come. You have demonstrated your worthiness by negotiating the moving rooms and mastering the alchemy test which our father Albert created to protect his laboratory. Now you will help protect our heritage oops, by creating yet another test for new initiates to pass. For my part, I have set this tradition in motion with the establishment of the rules of Penville in inheritance and have enlisted the Bassini family to oversee our efforts and discoveries. There are six columns in the Great Hall, each hiding a brave knight who will direct the movement of the Oil of Enlightenment to this forge in which a key shall be created to reveal the secret of our father Randolph. The secret must be well guarded. Hide the final solution to unlock this secret in your coat of arms and in the silent book. Let my words woven in cloth be the guide to finding the first key to open the column decorated with Jupiter's mighty bolts. 1547. Oh, these are the column puzzles. So we did the stairs one. Lacking my grandfather's wit and wisdom, I can only add to this genius. His tiles are now locked. The key is to be found near the staircase that sings. But the forge cannot work without being tempered by water. If the well is empty, a de devious lock hidden in the passages underneath the manor will return it to its watery state. So that's the one we haven't done yet. Dear friends, dear Penvalens, I fear my time is soon ended. My efforts to protect those in need will soon seal my doom. I have constructed a column to represent Mercury on whose swift wings would that I could escape these trying times. By moving the hands that protect my home with their alar al alarm chimes, my father's work will release the wand. My return to our ancestral home is welcomed with neither gladness nor the embrace of family. But no force of a misguided man can destroy our tradition. I have endeavored to make our sequence even more firm. To bring fire to the forge, tame the master guardian gargoyle and his two companions with Mercury's wand. But be of fleet foot, this is, time is of the essence. Once you have completed this task, apply the wand to the depository for the forge's fuel. Oil and fire will mix. What a curiosity, what a fortune, what a dream. To know that these strange riddles and puzzles have endured for so many generations. What an honor to contribute. And how busy I have been to bring the joy of discovery to you, my children's children. My playful companion hides the loving point of Venus's arrow. Okay, so we've done that too. How can a forge work without the sweet essence of air to fan its flames? Seek the curious puzzle in this room to help poor Aeolus capture those unruly winds. Isn't, wouldn't that be so cool that you 
make a riddle for your kids and then your kids are allowed to add a riddle for their kids and then you eventually have riddles that go back hundreds of years that would be amazing so many years have passed since i first stepped into this strange universe using my coat of arms and star charts you will soon discover how to open my moon box and find the special lens hidden within use this lens in my telescope to see five special muses we've done that after discovering countless wonders around the world, what joy is it to find such mysteries at home? My dear grandchild John, on this day, your first birthday, I complete my destiny. A dragon now watches over the manor, and a column is dedicated to Saturn, the gods of time. With time, you will discover the passage that hides its key behind a target. Aim well and throw with force. We did that too. Um, is it I who completes the key to guard the last column? So be it. The pond. Conservatory's pond and the Mars key shall be yours. This is the one we don't have yet. So we need to turn on the well and then do that puzzle in the con... I keep forget forgetting this word. Conservatory. Um, and then we have the last one. My computer will help you find the Saturn key. Be not afraid. I share the sentiments of our dear distant grandmother Penny. I too wish to have known you, my children. Be strong and just in all that you do. A great shortcut, shortcut through Father Albert's moving rooms is to open and close the Mars door two times without advancing. Then turn around and voila, you're home. Yeah. That's what I figured out. Okay. So we know what we need to do for the last column. Found some of his notations. I've performed many of his experiments. Oh, I think BB's trying to come in, but I'm gonna end the stream anyway. Oh, so many things to look at, but I'm out of time. I need to... I, I need to... I need to have dinner. <laughs> We've been streaming for four hours. <laughs>